This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting episode of Atlas. So the other day we did a little PvP scrimmage type shenanigans where we fought a mythic galleon. It was built completely out of mythic parts and we had a non-mythic brig and that galleon was insane. So what we've done today is we've created a mythic galleon. Every part of it is mythic from the planks to the deck to the sails, cannons, you name it. It, high quality mythic parts and we're going to test a couple of different strategies just to look at damage values and see if we can find a relatively easy way to sink one of these bad boys so let's get to it okay so the first thing we're going to test here is i've built a very basic armored sloop so i've armored just the top of it let me actually get down here so you can see what i've done so this is what I've done to it. Just the top of it has been armored and I put it almost looks like a little fin on the back and that's basically to help keep cannonballs that are coming in from this way, hitting those uh, back planks there. And mainly what we're going to be doing is sailing directly at it. So I'm really not worried about covering the sides. I'm worried about cannonballs hitting directly on top. We have a bunch of, uh, well, three explosive barrels mounted on the front. Now we've messed with the explosive barrels a little bit before and what happens is when you ram into a ship is these actually clip through inside the ship. So I want to see what kind of damage we can pull off here. Now we have Marine over there on the galleon. She is all ready to go and she's going to start shooting at us as soon as she is able to. And uh, we're going to see if we can even make it next to it because that's a, a big factor in whether this will even work or not. Okay, so here we go. Now I have the ignore wind cheat on because we're not really worried about that. That's not something we're testing or something I'm too worried about today. If you're going to be doing this, you're going to have the wind in your favor or you're not going to be kamikaze in a ship into the galleon here. So we're not going to worry too much about the wind today. I just want to take a look at damage values and just see what it takes to sink one of these bad boys. I'm headed at you. Uh, feel free to start shooting anytime. So what we're going to do is we're just going to head straight in there. We're going to set the timer on this to five seconds and hopefully get close enough. Oh, did it already, it already blew up. Should have done more than five seconds. All right, so here we go. We're going to try this again. We're not 100% sure if the cannonballs hit the explosive barrels and blew them up or if they blew up too soon. So we're just going to attempt to do this again. So feel free to start shooting at me as soon as you can, Marine. I'm going to try to get a little closer, sail straighter, more straight towards it so that I can focus on explosive barrels and not steering the ship. We're, we're headed straight to it now. So yeah, can't even, can't even get close to it. Like it, if those cannonballs hit the explosive barrel, then you're done for. So you would almost have to have a distraction for that to even work. All right, so let's say it does work. What happens then? Okay, so here's what we're going to do now. We're going to do a test and see what kind of damage these barrels will actually do if you can jam them into the boat. So we're going to come in from the backside. We're going to say it's a perfect situation where the other person that you're trying to attack didn't bother to put cannons on the back, which you can almost guarantee they're going to have cannons on the back. If they've spent all that time for this, you know, a mythic galleon, they're going to protect all sides of it. But just for testing purposes and seeing what kind of damage this does, maybe they're distracted or something like that. And you just want to see, we just want to see what kind of damage we can actually pull off. That's what we're going to do here just for, just for science. So Marine can actually arm these barrels. So I have her up there. She's going to arm it. We're going to go full speed into the back. All right, go ahead and do a five second timer. And if you take a look, it actually clips into the boat. Now we took some damage there on our boat because we rammed a larger boat. But now let's go over here. We're just going to let that sink. We're going to go into fly mode and take a look at the damage we did. So in a perfect situation here, we didn't even take out any planks. You can see we did uh, 10K damage to almost 50K worth, worth of uh, HP. They got 46,000. 169 and we dropped them down to 30,928. So kamikaze, great idea. Maybe if it's not a mythic galleon, that would work out great on probably a normal galleon if you had a couple of them. Uh, but on the mythic galleon, no, it just uh, didn't do much. We didn't damage any cannons there. We didn't even manage to dam. Did we damage the sail? Did we damage cannons down below? Oh, wow. So we managed to actually destroy some of the 
mythic cannons. Killed a guy, looks like, but we did not take out a plank. So that tells you that the clipping inside actually can damage players if they're inside down here repairing. But I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think about that strategy. Is that something you may try out? Um, my opinion, I don't think it's worth it. Too much, too many variables. You have to line up perfectly. You have to make sure that they're not shooting at you because we've seen in two separate tests that this thing just sinks those little sloops instantly. But uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Okay, so for this next test, I have a sloop here with uh, six large cannons on it. I mean, you don't have to use the sloop. I'm just using it because it's super cheap. Uh, you could use whatever you want, but uh, you know, it's probably gonna get sunk anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're going to sail into the ship. I'm going to shoot at this front panel here, so we or plank, so we can see what kind of damage these six cannons will do. And then we're going to do a real life scenario situation where we will see if we can keep the galleon at range, because I know for a fact, we've already seen it, that one volley landing on us will sink this sloop. Uh, and I just want to see if it's possible to actually keep it at range. Okay, so here we go. We're lined up. We're going to see what kind of damage we can pull off with these. So we're just going to fire one one volley towards the front here. I mean, that's not bad. That was some decent damage. Now, this is all this is all just normal normal cannons, nothing upgraded. Not as much as it looked like when it flashed on the screen. 39 out of 46, 38 out of 46. Did we damage any of the cannons, Marine? So none of the cannons took any damage. The planks looks like they took minimal damage. Oh wait, what was that one? 42, 42. Yeah, they barely, this one here, I think may, the 39s down here, I think are the most, 39 out of 46. Still like, no. That's, these things can soak up so much damage, it's just absolutely crazy. All right, so here we go. We're gonna try a real life-ish type scenario. Once again, we're not counting the wind into this because of course both ships are going to have to deal with the wind and I don't really feel like that's too much of a factor. I just wanna see uh, the possibilities here without wind being in the factor. But I mean, of course, wind is going to be a thing, but both ships will obviously have to deal with the wind when it comes to turning and all of that. So this is a more of a, a perfect case scenario type situation. And I just want to see if we can manage to keep our distance. So right now, I mean, the Galleon has a pretty big turning radius. Looks like she's uh, slowing her speed to turn sharper. We're going to attempt to get in behind. I'm going to go ahead and mark it so that my cannons will shoot as soon as I'm in line with it. The other thing you have to remember is if you're using something like the sloop and not the schooner or something larger, this is going to hurt if it hits us, uh, you're going to have to deal with the weight. Yeah, like we're already sinking, two planks already going. And I can't even uh, can't even manage to to get it in line. All right, here we go. So there, we got to fire off a little bit. But once again, we're getting fired on. Yeah, insane damage. Just absolutely insane damage. We're still sinking. Blew off the whole back half of the boat, and then we have to get lined up. That's the downside to these large cannons. Yes, they outrange. But uh, you have to be in line. So what if we just run it directly in there? We just jam the cannons in there. Not even going to make it. And it's sunk. So there you go. Uh, your chances of getting close to it with any type of boat uh, that's smaller is slim to none. So let's say you have another galleon and you're sailing towards this galleon. And you manage to keep your distance and you glide over onto the deck. Or if you just manage to get somebody on the deck at any point. That's what we're gonna test next. We're gonna test grenades, flame arrows, and oil jars. And we're just gonna take a look at overall damage values. All right, so we have a brand new plank right here. We're gonna throw a grenade at it and see what kind of damage it does towards these planks here. So we'll just toss that right up there like that. Let it blow up. 175. Yeah, so you're not taking it out with grenades, that's for sure. That's, um. That's pretty much pointless. So let's just say we stack a couple. Let's throw them right in there like that. Okay, let's let those blow up. 
The damage doesn't stack, just does 175 each time. So grenades, not gonna be much of an option. Okay, so now we're going to test uh, stacking oil jars and fire arrows, and we got a brand new repaired, well, was brand new repaired. It's taken five damage, but that's fine. So we're gonna be five off of whatever we do here. Just keep that in mind, because we're at sea. So we throw that, or shoot that, and then we're just going to stack oil jars and do as much damage as we can. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're just going to let that burn out. We're just gonna stay here, let it burn, and see if it actually destroys the plank, uh, and if not, how much damage we actually managed to pull off. Okay, there we go, so that's completed, and you can see we did uh, 35 out of 42. So, well, just shy of 35, 35,925 out of 42,920. And that was with what, five or six oil jars stacked on top of each other. So, not very viable. The situation that you run into with a ship like this, if somebody manages to build a ship like this, is it's essentially a world boss. You're going to need multiple people, multiple ships in order to bring this down. No single person or single strategy like that, unless you're offline raiding, is going to be able to bring this down. I mean, all those oil jars that we just stacked on that barely even scratch the surface of this thing. The large cannons hardly scratch the surface of this thing. And the explosive barrels, same thing. But what if you had a mythic brig? So that's what we're gonna test next. I'm just gonna bring a mythic brig over here. It's pretty much the exact same thing we did here. Everything on it is mythic, uh, even the cannons. And we're just going to go to town and see which one sinks first. Okay, so we have a mythic brig here. I only have cannons on the bottom and then a couple on the top. Uh, it's nothing compared to the, the firepower that is on that, but I just want to see if the two ships can stack up to each other and if this brig has any type of staying power. So we're going to do just a straight up dogfight. This is, once again, scientific purposes, just so you can see that, and honestly, I'm pretty sure I already know the outcome of this. There's no way. I honestly don't even think we're going to manage to take off a single plank here. So we're going to go ahead and target this bad boy. And we're going to come at it from the side here. About to take fire. Um, by the way, if you can take a look at our hit points, we're at 22,000 and some change. Crash into the side of it. Fire. At oh, we actually, we actually did a little bit of damage there. We're sinking a little bit. But I don't think it's as much damage as it looks like. And we'll take a look once one of these is... Uh, Done sinking the other. The broadside, the, the front of it there. Taking, oh my God, just massive, just the red numbers just everywhere. Now, if we had this thing completely loaded down with cannons, and we had somebody down below running repairs. Neither of us are running repairs right now. We're just firing at each other to see which one sinks. Um... It might stand a little bit of a chance. I don't think that it's going to manage to to actually sink the galleon, but it may be able to put up a fight. Two of these could possibly take this thing out. Maybe three of them even uh, could probably definitely take this thing out. And I think we just lost, did we lose our cannons down below? We may have lost some cannons. They're not firing. Oh no, they're there. They just, oh, there they go. See some green numbers. Oh my god, look at that volley. The volley is freaking insane. So many cannons on that thing. Now the downside to that brig, and uh, she had some serious problems with weight issues right from the get-go because it has so many cannons on it. Um, but once you get a few levels under it, which something like that would be really easy to do, just killing a couple of ghost ships, or sorry, ships of the damned. I call them all ghost ships. You all know what I mean. C killing a couple ships of the dam, a couple high levels, you're going to get a decent amount of levels. Oh my god, there go all the planks. I mean, we're doing some damage, but not what I'd like to be, not what I'd like to be doing. We're getting shot at by the guns on top. We're sinking pretty fast. We're not we're uh fourth of the HP missing. Did we still we still have cannons. We still have people manning said cannons. We're firing. Just doing laps around it, but every time we do a lap around it, we take massive amounts of damage, planks missing everywhere. 
once again, if I had people down below running repairs and fixing stuff, maybe a possibility, but there, it just sank. So figured that was going to happen. We knew it was going to happen. Let's go over here and let's see what kind of damage we did to this uh, galleon. All right, so let's take a look at the damage that we did. Uh, 35, 36, 36. 25, this, this took a bit of a beating right here. 25, yeah, this took a bit of a beating. Two Mythic Briggs may be enough to take down a Mythic Galleon. If you have people running repairs, you have plenty of replacement planks. 10, 10K out of 46 is good. You're leaking over here. We actually managed to make this thing spring a leak. Uh, we have some leakage over here as well. 9K out of uh, 46. So yeah, I think uh, two Mythic... Briggs could sink a mythic galleon. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments from the uh, from what you've seen here Do you think that's a possibility or do you think you would need more? You're definitely not going to do it with a With a sloop or something like that those strategies may work on a normal galleon possibly But they're not gonna work on this beast. We got 12k in the back here Yeah, 12k out of 46 not bad. It the the mythic brig actually performed better than I thought it was going to perform. I thought for sure it was going to sink much faster, but it held up pretty well. And if we had somebody running repairs, but then again, you have to think that the galleon is also going to have somebody running repairs. So I don't know. I don't know. I think it would be a close battle if you had two of them. And uh, it would be definitely a good fight worth watching. Let me know what you all think uh, about the information that we've learned from this video because I feel like we've learned a lot. Uh, we've learned that this is essentially a world boss that you're going to have to bring down. This is like bringing down something like the ghost ship or something like that. I mean, that's a lot of cannons on the side shooting at you. And that's a lot of HP per plank. And um, easy for them to run repairs while taking damage because you're not going to destroy any of these planks in one hit unless you're going up against another mythic galleon or like two mythic galleons something like that all right so that is going to wrap it up for this episode if you like what you saw consider hitting that sub button i want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible you are absolutely amazing people if you'd like to join my elite crew of patreon supporters please check out the link in the description below if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought if you're shy you don't like the comment just hit that thumbs up button and show your support until next time thanks for watching